The sidelines of uh, Nigeria's Security and Exchange Commission's annual investment forum in Abuja, Wale Famerera caught up with uh, Senator Bukola Saraki, a member of the Senate Committee on the Capital Market. He asked him about the significance of the 50 years of the Capital Market Regulation. Great uh, point in the history of the um, Capital Market 50 years, and I think it's coming at the right time. Um, where we're all talking about transformation of this great country, um, talking about um, raising capital for infrastructure deficiencies. And you can't do all that without the capital market. It's clear to everybody. And that's what this really is where everything really is going to start or going forward. And I think that um, and the timing of that is now 50 years, provides an opportunity for the capital market to really drive this for transformation. And that is why the importance and significance of it, of me being a member of the, of the Senate Committee and taking time all day to spend here shows the importance. Uh, we definitely, from the Senate and National Assembly at large, will be our plan really to really work closely with the um, SEC in trying to see how can we uh, make the capital market still more viable, how can we build on the reform that has gone through at the moment, uh, how can we really harness the, you know, the demand that hasn't really re realized yet, what can we do to do that? And I think it's all about confidence building. So letting people know that the regulations are there, they're, they're, they are firm and they're going to stay there. And that's the kind of support we intend to give to, to, the, to the stock exchange and company. I was just going to ask, uh, obviously you've alluded to quite a bit of that, but the agenda of the Senate's Capital Market Committee, you've, also, you've already mentioned quite a few things. What are the key, should I say, the quick wins and of course the broader objectives long term. Quick wins it's, again is that what do we need to do in ensuring that other sectors that I think are not yet as active in the capital market. If you, what do we, what kind of incentives can we can we give to to the to the, to the regulatory body? Um, how does the um, average Nigerian today have confidence in? the capital market, how do we strengthen the regulatory powers and what can we do to ensure that there's that confidence. Um, those are the kind of things we need to do and we want to do that as quick as possible. Um, I think there are certain sectors that we think that we must find ways to encourage them to come to the market, I think to go a long way. I think those are the quick wins that will provide um, the immediate amount with, look, with, within the country without actually looking for FDIs to come in. Uh, I think that's the area we should, we should capitalize on. And I think also most importantly is also to ensure that generally on the monetary aspect and fiscal part are stable enough for people to really begin to save. So I, I think what is key from the National Assembly point of view is to see the importance of the capital market in also achieving all this transformation we want to do and to understand that government doesn't have the capacity. If you're talking about investment of infrastructure, 40% of GDP, government's not going to be able to do that. It's going to come from, from, from the private sector. And where is that going to come from? It's going to come from the capital market. So we all got to work to support the capital market in doing that. Right. How are we reading the, um, the fact that right now foreign investors tend to dominate the market? Is that a development that is worrying the um, Capital Market Committee of the Senate right now, or do you, do you see this as more of the transformation of the world, where the world is a global village, and even for investments, um, investments tend to flow wherever there is value? Well, I, I, I think let's worry less for now. I think let us worry less about that. I think I think we have, if the um, the institution is strong enough to begin to look at the guidelines, so that in, in future we are going to look down the line. Let's assume that we are able to get the capital market to move the way we want to move it. Then our concern, maybe 10, 15 years down the line, is whether those funds will be stable. Uh, we can begin to think about that, but I think the problem now is how do we first get both Nigerians, and if the FDIs are going to lead the way, and then we can find ways to encourage Nigerians. I think that's really what's key for now. I don't think that's a great concern. I think the concern now is that we believe with, if in about seven years can we move the market from $40 billion to a trillion and what do we have to do to go about in doing that. I think that's, that's really is the number one target now because that's what we need as well to invest in the infrastructure. Without that infrastructure as well, the economy is not going to grow the way we want it to grow. So if it's the FDI that's going to get us good there, I think we take it and, we, uh, and we're wrong with it. And I think what we need to do is to ensure that there's stability and ensure that we don't lose their money.